Hey friends, welcome back to Big Nate's Whiskey Lounge. I am Big Nate, uh, coming at you with my top five budget bourbons. Um, I kept these to under $30, and quick disclaimer up front, Buffalo Trace is not on this list. Um, as you know, I love Buffalo Trace. Um, I love you. Um, it is $32.99 in my area. It is, not a, it is not an under $30 bottle. So I did not put it on this list. I know that a lot of you can, and I want to be realistic to my numbers. So um, my region, my state, this is what I'm paying for these bottles. It may be different from you. If you are lucky enough to get Buffalo Trace for under that, grab that. That would have been on my list, but I have to keep it off because it's not in my area. So we're going to start with number one, bourbon under $30. It's going to be Wild Turkey 101. I can get a liter of this for $28.99. Solid, solid, solid bourbon. Love wild turkey. I do not think I've had anything from wild turkey that I have disliked, just things I've liked more or less. So wild turkey 101 is gonna be a is gonna be a really good go-to. It's a good, you can drink it neat. It's a great mixer, it's a good utility bourbon. Um, and it has good good it's got a good name. So that's number one on the list. Number two, early times bottled and bond. Um, you're going to see a trend here that most of these are going to be around the same proof point except for the fourth one. Fourth one. Early Times Bottom Bond. This is the Sazerac. No, I'm sorry. This is the Brown Foreman bottle. I know it's been sold to Sazerac, but that also, that the selling of the naming rights also came with some stock of Early Times. So even with the new bottle, it is currently still the same stock for at least a few years we think early times bottle and bond this is 25.99 for the liter bottle um and just a really good solid go-to again I can sip and eat put in a cocktail and i'm good to go really good budget budget bottle third is going to be evan williams 1783 this is specifically the newer 90 proof version um it is like $19.99 for the 750. It's like $23.99 for a liter. Um, I was doing research. At first, I was going to leave this off this list um, because I was like, I don't remember how much I paid for it. It might have been $29.99. But then in doing research, I realized that that's what I pay for the single barrel. Um, and so I, my local store, my favorite local store, um, I was going through the ads and, they, and their, I went through their, pay, uh, their website today, $23.99 for a liter. So I put it on this list because that's what I can get it for. Even though this is $750, I can get it for $23.99. That qualifies it for this list. Um, just a really good offering from um, Evan Williams. You know, if you want to substitute, you could swap in for um, Evan Williams Bottle and Bond, which is always a good utility bourbon as well. Um, but I want to have the option of drinking meat and for me personally, I'm just not going to drink Evan Williams Bottom Bond meat very often. 1783, absolutely. Um, number four is going to be Old Granddad 114. I don't know if there's a better value in bourbon. I of of wild turkey. Rare breed is probably the next, and that's forty-five dollars in my area, and that's barrel proof, um, and that is such good whiskey. But for the under thirty-dollar category, this is twenty-five ninety-nine in my area. Um, unfortunately, it's probably going to go up a little bit. Thank you to Fred Minnick who made it his. I think his was cap was forty as far as budget goes, but it might have been thirty. Uh, but he put that as number one. Um, and it's nice to see it, it's nice to see stuff that I would put there, um, but at the same point, it's frustrating because Old Granddad 114 is unknown. Um, I've I've had conversations. I was in a conversation a couple months ago with three guys who were talking whiskey. They're older gentlemen, 50 year older, and they asked me like, "What's your thoughts on Basil Hayden?" I was like, "Well, I haven't really gotten into Basil Hayden because it's fifty dollars for a proof whiskey. I'm just not into that." I was like, for that, I'll just buy two bottles of Old Granddad 114. It comes from Jim Beam as well. And they had never heard of it. Um, so it, it was an unknown gem. Now it's getting to be known. So, But if 
yeah, I have a backup bottle as well. I actually had two backup bottles at one time, but I gave one to my brother. Now I was able to restock the second one. I will always try to keep a backup bottle on hand. Um, such a fantastic whiskey. Really, really good. Um, neat, great cocktail. I'm saying the same things on a lot of these, but that's all right. And last but not least, for my top five budget bourbons under $30 is going to be Old Forester 86. Now to date, because I've had this, I haven't bothered to go with the 100, which I know a lot of people really, really like. That will be my next, I will do that at some point and I'll compare the two to see which is better. But this I can get for $23.99 for the liter. Um, and this is my golf course pour. I put this in a flask when I go golfing um, and when I share it, I went, I went golfing with uh, my brother and a buddy a couple months, a couple months, a couple weeks ago. And we're going to be in a tournament at the beginning of August together. I'm going to bring a couple flasks of that, a couple cigars. That's just a really good solid. It's also not going to mess you up right away um, because it's only 43%. It's going to take a minute. You know, I'm not going to be shooting while I'm driving. What I, what I do is I usually take a, take a sip at, the, at each tea box. That's typically what I do. And so... It's going to take a little bit for it to actually affect me. And obviously, if we're doing a tournament or, or just a round that doesn't really matter, who cares? So great, great pour. Tastes fantastic. Love the banana flavors on that. Um, and I think I haven't yet explored all of Whiskey Row. I, I was at Old Forester. So I take that back a little bit. I, was, I went to Old Forester um, when I was in Kentucky for Whiskey Weekend. I went the... the First day of, I took a tour, um, fantastic, and they had a pour. They we you have a pour session at the end if you've never been, and sometimes they mix things up. Sometimes they'll give, they get, you give you a flight of four, and for my flight it was simply the four whiskey row, the 1870, the 1897 bottle and bond, the 1910, and the 1920. I'm a big 1910 fan, um, and that was really was it. It was split. I think there were four of us in the tour, and I think we were split two and two, nineteen ten, nineteen twenty. Um, but I think that this is better than probably the other two, seventy and ninety seven. So that's my list for the top five budget bourbons under thirty dollars. That as of right now, with the exception of Old Grand Dam Ward fourteen, potentially you should be able to get it any given time. Um, and obviously this um, is going to differ whether or not you have the Sazerac or the Brown Foreman option, but it really doesn't matter because right now they're still the same thing, just a different bottle. So that's going to do it. I hope that you should be seeing this on the Tuesday, the day after July 4th. I hope you guys had a good day. I hope you guys are responsible. If you have to work today like I do, um, make sure that you uh, are, are functioning and... Thor says it's time to sign off. I'll see you next time. Cheers.